Go ahead. So Sync is a hands-free infotainment system um, in Ford vehicles. It allows you to control your mobile phone or your media player through voice commands. Um, this means you can call people by hitting the push to talk button saying a command like um, call Julius Marchwicky and it would go ahead and dial him. Um, and then you can also control your media player by saying commands like um, play track ants marching or play artist Dave Matthews. Um, so it allows you to do a lot of things that people commonly want to do in their car without having to take their eyes off the road or hands off the wheel. Yep. Um, so and then um, the the new mobile app connectivity features that um, are part of the newest versions of Sync will allow you to bring um, applications on your mobile device into the vehicle. Okay. And uh, so some of the examples we have here today are Pandora running on Motorola Droid and uh, OpenBeak running on the BlackBerry Storm. Um, so we can demonstrate the Pandora app right now. Okay. Bluetooth audio. Please say a command. Mobile apps. Mobile apps, please say a command. Pandora. Pandora, please say a command. PlayStation Electric Feel Radio. Tuning to Station Electric Feel Radio. And this is picking up right with the, um, uh, right off of this Motorola Droid. That's right. Here. It's streaming the audio via Bluetooth. The reason we can't hear it is because the volume is turned all the way down. Okay. So I'll turn up the volume here and you can hear the audio streaming. Yeah. Um, you can see on the display, um, it shows the track, title, and artist. Um, and we can, um, we can control the app via voice commands or through menu controls or via just the buttons on the radio header steering wheel. So I okay. can hit the seek left button to skip to the next song. You'll see on the display it says skipping. And it takes a second to start streaming the new song. Sure. Um, we can also uh, um, give feedback. Um, let's say I, I really like this song. I want to thumbs up it so that uh, Pandora will play more music like this in the future. I can okay. hit push to talk. Pandora, please say a command. Thumbs up. And you can see we get audio and nice. visual feedback to um, let us know that that was a successful command, and it'll play, we'll have more music like this in the future on this radio station. Yep. Um, you can also bookmark a song or an artist if you'd like to buy um, it later on iTunes or Amazon. Um, and the way you would access a bookmark song or artist is uh, via the Pandora website or through the actual Pandora interface on the mobile device. Okay. Pandora, please say a command. Bookmark artist. And then uh, you can see that all um, many of these commands are, are available through the menu. Also, I hit the menu button, and we can um, just kind of scroll through all the different commands that there are. Um, so let's let's go ahead and we'll we will thumbs this song down, which will automatically skip to the next song, and we'll um, indicate that we don't want to hear songs like that in the future. Okay, so that's sort sort of some nice inner. Uh, interaction, integration between the Ford system and the Pandora app, Absolutely. essentially. Okay, so how about the BlackBerry? Um, uh, with the BlackBerry that you've got here, you've got um, OpenBeak uh, running on that, formerly known as Twitterberry, right. and that will integrate with um, you know Twitter integration into the Ford Sync as well. So let's... That's, that's right. It'll, it'll read um, the tweets of all the people that I'm following, or at least the last few tweets. Okay, so let's I'm... see a quick example of that. Sure thing. Let me uh, get out of the Pandora now. Pandora, please say a command. Exit. Bluetooth audio, please say a command. Mobile apps. <laughs> Mobile apps, please say a command. Open beak. Open beak, please say a command. Read timeline. Zias at the Consumer Electronics Show. Listening to this tweet on site via my Ford Touch, sent about four hours ago. My Ford Touch is a breakthrough in automotive user interface. Suppose we didn't hear that last one very well. Ago. We could press the Seek Back button, and it's gonna scroll back to the, can connect. Um, to the previous uh, ah. tweet, so we can read through it again, and we can also skip through them real quick if there's, you know, we're not interested in a particular my tweet. Right now it's set up to just read uh, about 10 tweets in a row and then be done, um, but there's, okay. there's a lot of features coming in this app. This has had a particularly short development time so far. Um, okay. 
and you can hear um, the, the music continues to stream in the background. Pandora is still running on the phone, though it's not connected to sync, and it's just continuing to stream the Bluetooth audio. Okay. Um, and how about on the BlackBerry? Is there anything on the LCD screen that tells you, hey, this is in, this is connected, or to... Uh, um, right not, now, not it's, really. it's, it's just displaying the, okay. the simple uh, open beak screen. Um, it's very likely that, uh, you know, in the, in the full version of this, um, similar to Pandora, there will be a lockout screen displayed on the mobile device, okay. so you're not tempted to actually fiddle with the phone itself. Anything you need to do with the application, you can do via the vehicle controls and voice commands. Yep, okay, so this is the, um, the app functionality of this. This is not available yet. This is for the next version of Ford Sync, Yeah, right? that's right. Yeah. And have you guys set a release date for that um, yet? No, not specifically. Okay. Um, but it will upgrade existing systems as well as be integrated into new um, generation? Yeah, at, at the very least, it, it will. Um, you'll be able to upgrade your 2010 vehicles um, okay. with this new system. And uh, we're still exploring to see um, what other you know, older vehicles will be upgraded, will be upgradable to this um, new system. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you.